this is another Linux distribution. I believe it's called Slytaz. I'll I'll provide it in the the video description. This is this is from the version of Aircrack where all the Aircrack is uh, the Aircrack NG is installed to, and this thing is um really small, tiny, 54 megabytes. Uh, the one without the Aircrack tools in it, you can go to the website. Uh, the websites are in here as well. You can go to the website and and you can download even the smaller one, which is like 30 megabytes. But since we want the air crack in them, we're gonna use the air crack one. It's a little buggy, but you know it it works if you don't do major changes into it. Change that to uh, L T A Z, and then. Click next. Um, you can have it's eight gigabytes. Um, uh, you can have it at, at least. I think it needs because it expands to eighty megabytes, so at least a gig would be fine. It'll fit in your in your thumb drive, so it should be fine. And then um, uh, two fifty six is good, um, but since we're using the Aircrack version. Um, I want a little more. Uh, you can probably use it. It'll load slower, but you can you can actually do it with the 128. At least it's a minimum of 128. It's what the website says. But since I'm using Aircrack and I want it to run quickly for this installation that I'm this tutorial that I'm doing or whatever this thing might be called, what that I'm doing. <laughs> Anyways, so we get hit OK. We're gonna unclick the power on because I don't want it to power on, and and there it is. It's so it's highlighted. That blue thing over it means that it's highlighted. And then OS it says right here what what it is. So we're gonna edit, and then we're gonna delete the hard drive. I'll, the the reason why I delete the hard drive because you won't the distribution won't won't be able to see it. So it's a SC SI type of hard drive and we can't have that one so we're gonna remove the hard drive once we remove the hard drive we're gonna add a hard drive and this time we're gonna select I don't know why it doesn't have it in in here but it doesn't to you know change the hard drive from the one that it installs the one that it uses to the one that we want it, the ID that we want it to use. So new hard drive, create new hard drive. So that's see this is this is this is where we have to select. It says SCSI recommended, but it's not going to be able to read it. We're not going to be able to uh, see it. Uh, so we need to use the ID. So basically, it doesn't have these drivers, which would be nice if they did. Which I'm pretty sure somebody out there might do all that so um 8 gigabytes that's a lot more than way way more than what it needs and uh, there it is uh, usually it'll be it'll be like this without the dash zero but since we deleted the other one it'll be dash zero uh, we can actually go to that directory here I'll show you and delete the dash zero so we won't get no conflict so here's the it's in libraries documents um a virtual machines or in xp um it would be uh, documents and virtual machines so we want to delete this this looking hard drive with the little thing on the top that's our conflict and it's gone once that's gone we can we can leave the name as 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 the other one should have been but with id so you won't get any conflicts about the name and once it's once it's configured uh okay so you want to power it on uh, i'm going to be pausing here for you know purpose stuff so you get here, you just press enter, it should start loading. Uh, I'm gonna pause this. And then you end up getting to this, the configuration. 
So you're gonna arrow down to whatever size you want. I'm gonna choose the 800 by 600, um, 24, six color, true color. Oh, too far, too far, too far. Where am I going? Oh, there it is. The 800 by by 600. It's 24, true color. So we want to select English. Uh, if you have a different uh, language, and you know, you're gonna select that different language. And then we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom because that's our USB, the USA keyboard. That's what I got anyways. And then we're going to get to this uh, login. You can use Tux and it won't ask you for a password. Um, yeah, let's just go into Tux. You, if you, if you um, type in root, the password is root. So... Tux is fine, and then you get this Tux, uh, whatever that thing's on the side. Start X, simple, and we're gonna have to reconfigure inside. So uh, there, no, no, no. Eight hundred by six inch two color. That's the inside. The other one, I think it's a frame buffer, and then this is the. Uh, the screen size and stuff all right once you get this you're gonna have you're gonna want to go into the menu and then system tools and then the G parted editor uh, ask as you this just click OK and then you're gonna be able to see it now so it's allocated. Uh, you're gonna create new, uh, advanced. No, it's fine. Apply, and then new again, and then you're gonna be prompted with this. Um, doesn't matter where it's at. Um, add just extension uh, three. Uh, it has extension four, but it you know this is not gonna install that. So add, and then on the top you click apply. Apply, and then go ahead and apply. Okay. Uh, once this is done, you can close the G parted editor, and then And then you are going to want to go to the install, which should be in menu, system tools, and it should be the the slits installer, or side tazer, whatever. So you get prompted with this. If you're in the root and you put in the root as a password, it won't ask you for this stuff. So here is the installer. Start. Or upgrade you have the upgrade button here and the OK is to um, start a fresh new installer so we're gonna want to install fresh and then we want to see the list and here's the list uh, uh, this is the folder of that so it's dev uh, backslash folder dev backslash um, hard drive HDA one no. So it's a uh, backslash dev is HDA one and then okay and then you click yes to format to F um, extension three and then uh, if the host name you can change it of uh, I am. Ah, what's all that beeping? Mm, I'm gonna change it to cure my mind. Okay. <coughs> and once you got this, uh, if if it'll ask you to install Grub. Uh, if you've never, if you don't have another um, Linux system in there, 
if you're not dual booting with another Linux system, then install Grub. If you do, then uh, go to the website where where I'm gonna post it, and it'll t it'll show you how to how how to use the old Grub. The, I mean the Grub that you, not the old Grub. It'll show you how to use the Grub that you're currently using, so you can dual boot. There you go. And then install grub. We select yes because I don't have a grub and I want it to load. Oh, it says installation has now finished. You can now exit the installer and reboot your new uh, Cytas, uh G GNU Linux operating system. I, oh, ah. Uh, you could have pressed that reboot, but I pressed exit. My bad. Anyways, so you can just, you know, go to the menu and then log out and then reboot. And then all this awesome stuff. Rebooting and stuff like that. And then you get prompted with this. It'll count down. And if you don't want it to come down, just press enter. And you would use the air crack as you would in backtrack or if you installed um, like uh, the air crack into Ubuntu, you would use it the same commands. Nothing's changed. Um, usually this in this this um, configuration configure X, it doesn't it shouldn't show up, but for some reason it's showing up. I don't know why. I'll try to figure that out later. Um, but this is the this is installed now. It's not running off of the CD, as you can see. The CD right here is it's nothing. Uh, don't install any of the updates, or you'll mess up the installation. It's still a little buggy, but it's a pretty awesome little uh, CD. Uh, probably next video I'll go more into details about the inside and stuff like that. But for now enjoy this little awesome CD if you this is to install if you just want to use the if you just want to use the air crack then you're gonna have to wait until my other video or somebody that has a video already uh, like that so um, that's it for me hope hopefully you guys enjoyed this unfortunately I used the mic and and it's gonna take a long time for a bunch of other people out there but Anyways, I hope you enjoy this, what, 13 minutes, 14 minutes, uh, whatever, uh, well, uh, goodbye, I guess.